Okay, I think that's about all I need of the three quarter of an inch. Oh yeah, my computer. Anyways. I could have, what I could do, once this thing sticks out, I could have that as the barrel. So it's gonna look like, it might look something like that. It's not bad, it, it's about the same size barrel as I had. It, it's gonna hurt like hell if you get hit by it, once it's the finished product. Not gonna be super accurate, but you're keeping it small and it will definitely work. All right, so I need to stand about that much right there. Better. You know, if you can get a schedule, a one inch schedule 20 pipe, I'm pretty sure they make those. It, it um, might be a little bit better. Although you might not have as snug as a fit, a snug of a fit as you need. Oh, by the way, t as, as for how much you need to sand this down or lay it down or something, you want this to fit in there very snugly, even even if you have to pound it in with a hammer, because you're going to eventually glue it in. If you get it sand down so it fits in there very loosely, it still may work with some glue, but the tighter fit you can get it right now, the better. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, that fits very snugly. Beautiful. Now, where's my flashlight? I know you might be wondering, what the hell do I need a flashlight for? Well, what I'm going to do is do this. Okay, it looks like... Perfect. I got it exactly right here, right where I need it. Okay, beautiful, perfect. Now I just need to glue it, stick it in it, and cut it off. There we go. Cut it off. Ha! That's fun to do. Cover it with glue. Like I said, I don't have any PVC cement. If you do, use it. I don't have any, so I'm using super glue. This is some sort of thick super glue stuff. It's kind of like gel and it's not liquidy at all. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, well, I'll find out when I go test fire this thing. Hey, you know, if it doesn't work, it'll still be worth a laugh or two. Keep paper towels handy, just for this type of thing. There we go. You see? I shoved it in there, and now it's all glued in. Hopefully there's no glue coming out the back, because that will kind of make it kind of annoying. Okay, the next step would be to drill a hole right here for the paintballs to come out, for the paintballs to, to drop in. You need a spring. The spring needs to be able to fit over this, fit over this, and fit inside of here. Okay, now like I said, the spring from the inline electronic sprinkler valve will work. This is a spring I took from the pop-up sprinkler. I think a three inch pop-up sprinkler and then I cut the spring in half. But it was just a little bit too big so I had, a, I had to um, modify it just a little bit. You could try making your own spring if you want. Um, I tried making a spring out of copper wire. Didn't work. I mean it worked at first but then after a few shots it just you know compressed down to nothing. You can try making a spring out of um, out of uh, 
clothes hangers, cloth clothing hanger, that might work. But I'm just going to use this spring because it's a spring I already have handy. You see? Put it in there. And there we go. Okay. And yeah, see that? It pops back out. Yep, that's what I want. You gotta get this. You gotta put this in here. That's the. And there we go. This is that fully assembled. Obviously, it's missing the hole, so you can't really tell. Huh. Yep. Piston seems to be sitting right about there. Right about there, which is perfect. So. Now a little bit, a little bit of air seems to go through this without. The, that's fine. Um, you know, I think I did the math a while ago, and for the spring I have in here, I think I need about seven psi of air before the spring will move, which is yeah, it, it's good enough for for my thing since I'm using eighty psi, so it will definitely move. Um, let's see here. I want to push this thing out. There we go. Alright. Got to get a little bit of lube on this here. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of Vaseline. And I lubed up this part right here. Probably want to lube up this just a little bit because the spring is going to go right there. There we go. Okay, now it's all lubed up. Stick it back down in here. Now that's all that's left is to drill a hole through here and sink a screw. You could alternatively glue the plunger in there if you really wanted to. I don't recommend that because then you can't take it apart later in case you need to replace the spring or fix something broken inside or something like that. So, um, no, I'll actually do that right now. I'll drill a hole for you. Okay, right there. I want this thing to go through, I want the hole to go through this, the pipe inside, you know, the one inch, and then all the way through all of those pipes. Just one side of the pipe will be sufficient. There we go. And that is the screw. Obviously it fits in uh, a little bit too loosely, it'll be, it'll be good enough for this situation. But later on I might want to put some glue in there, you can see the... You can also see some crap in there too. <sighs> oh, whatever. There it is. I see the screw. Okay. Now I got the screw in there. One screw should be sufficient. If you want to put more screws in there, that's your prerogative. If you want to put this down a little bit harder than I did, I didn't put it down that far, so it's a little bit loose. Um, it's fine. It will work. Next step is to drill a hole right here. That's where the, I mean, right in the center. Right here. Yeah. 